and welcome to a bookshelf reorganization video. So I have new shelves. <laughs> I've spoken about it a bit in videos already, but I have brand new shelves. I have two new billies, like full size ones, and I have one half size one. And I'm so happy to have like all matching bookshelves for the first time. But as you can see, they're a mess. <laughs> I just don't know where to start. When we moved all my books back into my room, we just shoved them in there. So it's a complete mix of read and unread, genres, who is she? Like, it's genuinely a mess. But we're going to reorganise it today and we're going to make it look cute. Now, I do <laughs> find it a bit, like, pressurised doing bookshelf reorganisation because I want it to look amazing. But I'm going to try and, and get rid of that pressure on myself and we're just gonna have fun and like reorganize my bookshelf I'm gonna listen to an audiobook as we're doing it and I'm really excited so I'm gonna step you back a bit so you can see a bit better okay these are my shelves <laughs> but before we talk about those actually I want to thank the sponsor for today's video which is hunt a killer you guys you are gonna scream you are gonna scream when I show you this you're gonna scream and cry I'm telling you right now so hunt a killer make these immersive murder mystery games ah, oh my god and they're not just a board game they are these boxes full of evidence trinkets case files witness statements or everything you can imagine it's so cool and they have tons of different games but the one that i think you guys will be super interested in and that i got sent is one that is inspired by agatha christie the mystery of hunter's lodge friends it is literally like you are erky poro you are erky poro in this game it is Amazing. It was, it was so cool. If you've watched my videos before, you will know this is literally what I have always dreamed of. Like, it's absolutely perfect for me. Basically, it's based off of an Agatha Christie true short story. And it's set at this rich countryside estate in England where the unpopular host is found murdered. And since Ugly Poirot is ill, we are helping Captain Hastings figure out who the murderer is. Me and my family had the best time playing this. We had like a little family game night. And in this box filled with secrets. The quality of the items are just amazing. The pieces of evidence like the flask, wristwatch, and banner were all such high quality. Honestly, the thought and attention put into this game just made it such an amazing experience. Like I felt a little bit bad and bougie playing it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I had so much fun playing detective with my family. It was such a cute night. We all had such a great time together and we really didn't figure out who the murderer was until right at the end. <laughs> doesn't look good. <laughs> There's a lot of language. Are we were right! Yay! Yay! So right now you can go to hunterkiller.com forward slash Meg with books and use the code Meg in capitals to get $10 off your order of the collector's edition. So let's find out, do you have what it takes to solve the mystery of Hunter's Lodge? Okay, back to the video. I think because I organized by genre, I think I want this shelf to be fantasy, sci-fi, magical realism, that kind of thing. I then mean, I want this next big one to be mystery thriller. And then I'm gonna put all along this half one, non-fiction, contemporary, romance. That's basically it, that's all my genres. Because I really wanna make sure my fantasy and mystery thriller shelves have room to grow. Like, I don't want this video to be me like filling the shelves and then I've got no room to put any more books. That's not the point. That would be like, illegal. I think I will have room to put more books because a lot of what you're seeing on here is unread. They won't stay on this shelf. I've got a book cart over there which fits most of them. And then the ones that don't fit, I may just put down the bottom if we have room or... I don't know, we'll figure that out. That's the whole point of the video. <laughs> the only books that are unread that I'm gonna put on these shelves are my special editions of my Agatha Christie mysteries. They're really gorgeous, so I just wanna display them. I mean, why not? Also, I wanna put my book of the month books all together with the spine. So I do want them to be on my shelves. So first things first, I'm going to take all these books off the shelves <laughs> and I'm gonna make piles throughout the room by genre and I'm gonna like, take away all the unread books and put them at the other end of the room so we can deal with them later. We're gonna do all of the red stuff and then sort out the unread books last. Also, in case anyone was wondering, I'm currently listening to the audiobook for Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. I am enjoying it. I've got five hours-ish left of the speed I'm listening to, so I'm hoping to get like a, a good amount listened to whilst we do this. Here we are. I'm 
coming in. Before I could protest, she was in the stall. Okay, the let's go. <laughs> is we've got book of the month books there graphic novels agatha christie special editions magical realism romance this is all fantasy <laughs> uh then we've got mystery thrillers down here non-fiction over here horror contemporary all that kind of stuff that over there is all unread books we're not looking at that right now <laughs> okay i love this angle <laughs> i'm gonna do fantasy shelf first so all of these shelves i want this one to be my favourite shelf again before, hello, I had a favourite shelf with mysteries and fantasy on it, like thriller and fantasies, but I want a fantasy one and maybe a mystery one. Well, yeah, I think I want a mystery one, or I might just have my favourites on my mystery shelf face out, but I definitely want to have like the shelf I had with three facing out in the centre here. Um, I also want to try and keep hard covers that are the same size and paperbacks are the same size together. So I am gonna split up series so that it looks a bit neater, I think. And I'm just gonna start and see <laughs> what happens because I haven't really got a plan. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna have a go. This shelf is gonna change a bit, I already know, by Christmas because I'm getting my special editions of my Bear and the Nightingale books. So I think like Amari and the Night Brothers, um, these ones will go. I'm just gonna put them in there for now, but for Christmas I'm getting those books, a special fairy loot edition that I'll put a picture in. So this will be subject to change in a few months, but I'm just gonna kind of do it for now. with how these shelves are turning out so far. So at the top here, we have all these fantasy paperbacks that all match up with size, which is just so, oh, I just love it. <laughs> um, eventually this shelf will probably all be that. This, the House in Serenity is a bit taller, so that will go somewhere else. And I, I'll move this somewhere else and that will just be all paperbacks. Then we have this shelf, which obviously Shadow and Bone isn't a favorite, but I kind of want it to be with those just because I love how the editions look together. Then we have got some Sean Maguire books. We've got some Catherine Arden there. We've got three of my favorite fantasies, Ninth House, The Star, The Sea, and The Night Circus. And then some more of my favorite fantasies. We've got Addie LaRue, Amari and the Night Brothers, and the Girls of Paper and Fire series. So that's kind of like 
my favourite fantasy shelf. And then we have this shelf with just some more of my hardbacks kind of laid together. Some hardbacks that aren't this size hardback, so they're like more awkwardly sized. So them stacked. And then we have my kind of like magical realism-y fabulism kind of stuff. So that is, oh shit. I was about to say <laughs> that that is all of the books I wanted to put on these shelves, but I do have science fiction and fantasy that I want to go on this shelf. So hang on, take these out. But then will my sci-fi fit there? Can we squeeze it in? It's going to be tight. Oh my God. Yay. Okay. Great, great, great. We even got room for like one more book. <laughs> okay. That's that shelf redone then. So I, I fit all of my sci-fi in as well. Woohoo. Okay. So I actually have two whole shelves free on these shelves. So we may readjust things a bit, but I'm really happy actually to have those two shelves like be stuff that I can use up. That's space for me to read more fantasy, which is amazing. That makes me so happy because I had no space for fantasy. So that's what those two shelves are gonna be filled up with eventually. Okay, so now it's time for my mystery shelves and thriller shelves. Now the only problem with this shelf is, is that if you're looking at the shelves face on, you can't see anything behind this shelf, obviously, because it's like hiding the stuff in there. So I think I need to strategically put the books I don't like as much <laughs> in that corner. But yeah, we'll figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Can we stay here for a week or so? Just watch the corn grow in the field. Um, I didn't end up separating mystery and thriller because it would have just been too complicated. But look at these shelves. I am so happy with how they have turned out. And I actually decided to put my book of the month books here underneath the fantasy shelf. So I'm gonna step right back so you can see everything together. Okay, so that is those shelves done. I am actually so happy with how they look. I think it looks so nice. I just put my candles there on that book of the month shelf just to fill it out. But I love the, like all the face out ones amongst all of the mysteries. I love how the strange case is kind of raised up as a series together. I am just so happy with how it looks. I think it looks so cool and beautiful. I'm, I'm definitely so happy. So we now have to just fill that entirety of that half shelf with all my other genres. And now I'm actually a bit worried because I actually have quite a lot of books here left. So. I don't know what order I'm gonna put the books on the shelves in. I'm just kind of go, gonna go and trial and error it.
besties. I'm so happy with how it looked. Oh my God, I feel like it's come out so well. So up there we have contemporaries, romance, which obviously I don't have a lot of, so that's where we've got the love hypothesis face out. I don't think I want to have that face out for like forever, because it's a bit of a weird cut. Well, not it's not weird cover, but like it doesn't really match with everything else I have face out. So that will change once this shelf fills out. Um, but then we have poetry next to it as well. Then we have my graphic novel shelf, which I think looks so cute. And then we have horror, historical fiction, and then right at the bottom is non-fiction. Now ignore these books in that shelf here. That is all books that I am in the process of unhauling. So that is other ones I have unhauled in previous videos and haven't passed on yet. All ones I'm saving for an unhaul video that I'm going to do in the new year at some point. So ignore that shelf. That shelf will be by the new year cleared out. Oh my god, I love it! Oh, I think it all looks so nice. I am really, really happy with it. I'm so happy. Oh, okay. I'm going to save the finished close-ups. We'll do like a proper kind of close-up of everything at the end because I've got fairy lights coming tomorrow. So I'm going to wait for them to arrive before we do like all the cute shots of everything together. But now I am going to go start on the TBR cart. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm literally just gonna, I don't really have any order to the TBR cart. I'm just gonna put, um, the top shelf is always 2021 new releases. And then after that, it's literally just, I put books whenever. There's no order to it. So I'm gonna go start on that now. I am so happy with how they've turned out. I love the fairy lights along them. I've never had that before and I just really love how it looked. My TBR cart is all full up down here and I also, <laughs> my unread books also took up the two free shelves that I have, but I'm not worried as the two shelves at the bottom that are currently filled with stuff won't be in the long run. I actually just sort shit out. And that, surprisingly, surprisingly <laughs> there is still a lot of like movement and a lot of places i can fit books in here i also think eventually once i need more room i'm gonna move my book of the month books up to the top of the bookshelf to sit on top of it because i think they'll look nice up there so they're gonna stay on that shelf for now but in the long run when i need more room i will move them up there i can always double stack so i'm not particularly worried about running out of space anytime soon but i really love how they look i'm so pleased with how they look i've also got a lot of front facing books out particularly on this mystery shelf so I can always get rid of that if needs must <laughs> but I really like having a few so 
yeah i am so pleased with how my shelves look this is by far for me my favorite my shelves have ever looked because the first time i've had them all together in one place and i just really really love it so i hope you've enjoyed this video it was a bit different than usual a bit more chill a bit more cozy and relaxing so i hope you enjoyed it um if you got to the end of this video comment the tired emoji because i'm very tired now <laughs> it's hard work doing bookshelves again Comment that if you've gotten to the end. Let me know how your bookshelves are set up or your favourite way to organise your bookshelves. And I'll see you very, very soon in another video. Bye!